Now, the management of AC Zanon Limited, a large scale mining company in the Swum area of the Kwaibibre municipality, has denied allegations of engaging in illegal mining activities, commonly known as Galamse. Two weeks ago, youth groups in Assum, supported by the Assum Kontihini, confronted the mining operators, accusing them of polluting local water bodies. The Kontihini of Assum, Nana Bwadi and Pumenim Abodade III, also accused AC Zanon of misusing a prospecting license for illegal mining. There is more in this report by Channel One News' Neoni Amate Kanakum. The CEO of AC Zenon Limited, Hajia Aminata Hiru, took journalists to the mining site where officials from the Minerals Commission in Koforidia confirmed the company's mining lease was legally issued in 2022. I will free them. I'm not here. I'm studying. I came to the palace the first time. You guys threw stones at me. And Ukranuma, I didn't hold it against anybody. We left uh, uh, Sharp Show Numu those days, you know. I left in harmony. I want the media, everybody, capture me and this but, young man. But I'm ma forgiving you for today. But, Mama, uh, please, uh, we came here mm. to ask some legitimate questions. Please. Something that we do not understand. It is all over. Yes. Ask me. Whether you have all the documents, all the necessary documents that gives you the permit. She denied the allegations, stating that the assumed continuity was only resentful because the company refused to comply with its personal demands, which conflicted with a collective community agreement. Two weeks ago, the Kontihini, along with some youth from the community, protested against the company, accusing them of destroying the environment. The laws here will tell you, right, that applicants must leave 100 meter buffer zone from roads, forest reserves, streams, real, uh, railway lines, rivers, and 300 meters from pylons when applying for the mineral right. So the very fact that you have not left that 100 meter between you and the river body means you are doing an illegality, which is illegal mining, irresponsible mining. You may have all the documents on earth, but if you go near that river and dig in the river, it is illegal whether you have a large scale license or a small scale license. Also, for me, reclamation is very important because people these days are forced to sell their lands. Some, I mean literally. Because when you even agree not to sell your land to them and the next person sells his or her land, they will find ways of, because you see, they travel with the water. So you cannot block their water from reaching the next place. So in the night when you are not there, you come back and they will have created a crater, a big gutter in your farm, spoiling it. What are you do to do than to just oblige? First of all, I've shown you my documents. Secondly, I've shown you how the operation is done. I don't even have single one cocoa tree around me here. And with all the lands that have been mined, were compensated, duly compensated with a proper agreement given to the farmers. They signed, we signed as a company, and we take over the land. And we even give them a duration, how long we want to sit on their lands to mine and put it back and give it to them. I've taken you through at the back there to show you some of the lands we've already mined and uh, covered up. If the farmers want to come and do their plantation tomorrow, they can start it immediately. To be honest with you, I, I would say the residents and uh, some of the chiefs here is only one person I'm having an issue with. And he started his issues not today. He started it about two years ago. When he deceitfully took some farmers to the court in Asamankesi. Meanwhile, six armed youth from Assume Storm, the AC Zen Unlimited mining site, aiming to attack workers, journalists, and Minerals Commission officers present. However, security personnel stationed at the site quickly disarmed them. The six men, led by an individual claiming to be the incoming Asafo leader, wielded machetes and arrived on tricycles and motorcycles. They intended to disrupt the press engagement after being tipped off about the media's presence by an informant. 
However, the company's security team had laid an ambush and neutralized the threat upon their arrival. The CEO, Haji Amina Tahiru, urged the youth of Assume not to allow themselves to be manipulated for selfish gains and appealed to the government to protect licensed responsible miners while supporting effort to combat illegal miners and encroachers. I'm calling on all our regulators to intervene in this matter. What uh, Ringo is putting out there in the public domain is different from what the reality is currently. Now, he is claiming that I am doing illegal mining. Rather, I'm the victim, not the perpetrator. He is the beneficiary of illegal mining. And I want you people to go and see for yourself and make your own sound judgment about what is going on in this room. Still in the eastern region on the issue of mining, the Deputy Minister of Lands and Natural Resources in charge of mining, George Mrikuduka, has signaled that the government will soon implement measures to address illegal mining activities that pollute water bodies. Channel One News understands these measures will include redeploying river wardens to monitor and police these water bodies where Galamse is rampant. In recent weeks, various professional groups and religious bodies have have called for a total ban on small-scale mining. However, the Deputy Minister believes such a ban would harm the mining sector. Speaking to the media after visiting Transico Mining Limited in the Fantia Kwasa district to familiarize himself with their responsible operations, Mr. Mrikuduka outlined the government's plan to tackle the Galamse issue. The result is clear to advise me or guide me that that will not be the solution to the wanton destruction of our river bodies. Yes, government is putting in measures to address that challenge of protecting our river bodies. It is very key and very dear to my heart. My heart bleeds when I see people boldly mining river bodies. It's uncalled for. It's uncalled for. And I'll call on all small scale miners to rise up and fight this kanka together that whoever mines in the river body is an enemy to this country obviously but that in any way mustn't warrant that call for the ban on small scale mining the member of parliament for Takwan Swaim also called on security agencies to recognize the seriousness of the issue and join government's efforts in the fight against Galamse. and i keep on saying that security apparatus all other actors we must all embrace the willingness in addressing the uh, challenge of the river bodies if we do so ghana will be a gateway and i can tell you what we are doing the small scale mining sector sudan south africa zambia and other countries have been here emulating what we are practicing as far as community mining is concerned, as far as small scale mining is concerned, even though we have other challenges. But there are other positives that other countries are learning from. And it's the reason why I'm asking all small scale miners be behind government, be behind us to propagate the truth about the small scale mining. Additionally, the General Secretary of the Ghana National Association of Small Scale Miners and CEO of Transico Mining Limited, Godwin Ama, urged community members to provide information on individuals engaging in mining activities in rivers. So, all the money that we get, we reinvest it into it. So, if you see somebody on a river body, if you see somebody mining closer to road, you came in where you are coming from, we are far from the road. These are not small scale miners. If they are doing or perpetrating illegality, we should deal with the person who is doing it. Because everyone has got a name, every company has its own name. Those who are on the river bodies, what we play with Ghanaians, let us all support to clear them. Because clearly, you know, it's a red zone. But if you look at a chamfa and the way they are dressed and the way they've done anything, you say, oh, because these people are polluting. The difference between large scale and small scale is the scale. But the way we mine is the same. It's the same. So every small scale miner also should work and work well. They should protect the environment. They should follow all the prescribed rules and regulations of the game. So that at the end of the day, we'll grow to be big players 
and then turn this country to like how we always say, oh, Joe Berg is this, Joe Berg is that. I think this is something that we all call for, and we plead with all Ghanaians to bear with us that we are not criminals. Government will soon deploy river wardens who are trained and certified and ensure that Galamseyes are chased out of river bodies and forest reserves. For Channel 1 News, Neil Lee Amati Kanaku.